What's going on everybody? This is Rick here again. I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on checking milliamp readings, DC voltage milliamp readings with a Fluke 87.5 that I have here. Uh, just wanted to kind of go over this for anybody who hasn't done this before just to find out if you're checking a transducer or something like that exactly how to get these meter readings uh, or values for DC milliamps without blowing the little fuse in your meter. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hook up your probes to the milliamperage and common terminals. We're going to be using the regular meter leads right here to hook up uh, to test it and we're going to be breaking the circuit to take the meter or the milliamp reading. Uh, you have your meter here set on milliamps. Now if you look right there the DC symbol is yellow. That means that when you switch this off and then you go to switch it back on for milliamps uh, see that milliamps AC this is a 24 volt DC source power going to one of these train transducers right here so the first thing we're going to need to do is switch this over to DC volts how do we do that yellow hit this button bam milliamps DC all right so now we are ready to test milliamps DC now over here on my sensor, this is a 4190-5050 train pressure transducer. It's made by Maymac. Over at my UC600 train controller, I have a 24 volt DC source power that is feeding into the positive, you can kind of see it back there, right there, the positive terminal of the sensor or transducer. The output signal is the negative. The signal is going back to one of my universal inputs on the UC600. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take our positive meter lead, okay, and we are going to hook it up right there, clip it on. You can see I got that little wire sticking out of the uh, signal terminal, the negative terminal on the transducer. So my positive uh, is receiving the signal out from the transducer, and then we're going to be part of the series, uh, or we're going to be in series with this circuit. Uh, so that we can read the milliamperage reading. So then we take my negative right here, clip that on there. 12.04 uh, milliamps DC. Now this is a very, uh, very small range for this sensor. The sensor only reads negative uh, 0.25 inches of static up to positive 0.25 inches of static for building static pressure reference. So right now, at about 12 milliamps, sorry for the glare, at 12 milliamps, our scale from 4 to 20, at 12, we're actually at about 50% of that scale. So 8, half of 16, 16 total milliamps between 4 and 20. So currently with a, you know, negative bias, so we can go down to negative 25, 0.25 inches then up to positive 0.25 inches. 50% of that right now is, for the most part, uh, eight milliamps above four milliamps, which is our base, so 12 milliamps. So right now, my signal is actually zero. So if we come over here, step over to my laptop here real quick. Zero, negative 0 0.001 inches of static. So that is my current value for space static pressure. Uh, is my active static pressure and that's a very very small reading but just to show you guys how that works and how to essentially get a meter reading four milliamps right there this is how you're going to do it all right don't read across those terminals with your meter leads or do anything else but try to tie into the circuit like this because you'll blow the little tiny fuse inside this meter and then you can't check anything 400 milliamps fused. Really easy to do that if you did short it across these leads right here. So uh, don't do that. You want to tie in series. You want to read the signal. I'm pretty sure you can check the input uh, too in terms of current if you were going to do it the other way. But just get yourself a little piece of wire right there. Tie it into whatever transducer you have. Be part of that circuit. Check the milliamps and you should be good to go. Hopefully this helps anybody else working on this same sort of system. Any of you guys in the trade, appreciate your time. I'll talk to you guys later.